Hey guys, welcome back to NEPA Mountain Craft. I'm Tony, and today we're going to be building an in-shop chopping block. You could also use this as a workbench. A lot of people do, and the Greenwood carving communities do just use just their chopping block for all of their necessities that they need to hold stuff, to work on stuff, to work on all of their Greenwood projects on just their chopping block. I have another larger piece from the same tree that I used outside. Right now it's four degrees outside and it's uh, it's kind of cold to be carving outside. So I'm trying to get my shop downstairs in my basement in working order. So let's get right to it. So for this project, what you're gonna need is these tools here. So right here we have a silky saw. It's a folding pruning saw. It's gonna work just great for what we're using it for. You're going to need a socket driver for your drill. I think this is seven sixteenths. Those are the lag bolts that I got right there. I got three of them, three washers. You're gonna get a pencil, you're gonna get a drill bit a little bit smaller than the actual drivers. I got a speed square tape measure drill, and you're gonna need two two by fours. So one of the most important things you're gonna need for this project is the chopping block itself. This was from a very large log, like I said before. I cut this in half yesterday, me and my son. It was ridiculously long, so we have that one. And then we also have the one that I built yesterday. So I wanna get two of these logs. This one's a little shorter for longer pieces. And this one I wanna get a little taller. So right now this is at 10 and a half inches tall. I already have holes drilled into it so I could use wedges in there. Now I'm gonna take the two by fours that I have and I'm gonna cut them to 18 inches. And at the very top, I'm gonna to take a two inch now gap. Gonna, now, is I'm gonna mark these at 18. Speed square. So now, that's the one. I'm not using this junk edge that's here. You can see how that's all kind of crapped up there. I'm not going to use that side. It's going to be our waste piece. Look at both sides here for what we're going to actually use it for. And we're going to measure this out and cut each piece at 18. things will happen. And that we're just cutting the hair off off the end here. Nothing too, too crazy. So guys, the really cool thing about these benches is that the bottom's cut on them. So you actually have some place you can attach a clamp to. You can drill a hole into the side of it, which I think I actually might do with this chopping block and attach a permanent vice clamp onto it. But I haven't got that far yet, but let's get these all cut up now.
I swear that was harder than cutting through the actual two foot log. Same thing. Now we're going to cut the next 2x4 and get this all roughed out and start assembling. Alright, we'll start measuring them out and start making the notches that are going to go onto the side of our chopping block. So basically all we're going to do is make this cut right here. That's it. Drill the holes, send the lugs in. Okay, now that I have those cut, I'm going to start <coughs> measuring out where I need to make my cuts for the notches. So I'm going to go keep two inches on this side. So all the rest of this is going to be waste. So two inches by two inches. So that's it, I'm gonna do that with all the rest of them. You see this one's kind of cracked here, so I'm actually gonna take the spot where it's cracked. Then cut that spot out. All right, do that with the last one. That side's junk, so we'll do it from this side. This is all just scrap wood that I had laying around the shop. So sometimes it's actually really nice to go through and see what you got and see what kind of treasures you can make out of what you have laying around.
crazy thing is you can see the difference between old wood and new wood. This one's a lot more denser than the new wood I was just cutting. There you go. That's the notch you want to make. Right in there is where the block is actually going to sit underneath. You're probably thinking to yourself, this doesn't look too, too pretty. It doesn't really matter. All it's doing is just supporting this heavy log. We could put cross beams across here to really support it, but I'm not chopping or carving anything that's too big for this block to handle nor for these legs. So it doesn't have to be elegant. You could go around and try to make it look elegant and make it whatever way you want, but this is just to hold the log up so you can actually perform the task at hand. Whoop, almost made a boo-boo. Start cutting on the wrong side. Here's the part where you're gonna need some of your power tools. I don't like using power tools. I could use them, just don't like using them. But for time saving purposes, I'm gonna be using my drill <clears throat> to get this project done. So before I start doing any of that, I take my lugs and I put the washers on them. So don't forget. Do it for all three. And we're going to change out our drill bit. To get it ready to start. Now that you have your drill, you have your stuff all prepped. There's your boards. Let's get it. Let's put those on and bolt them to our chopping block. So I like to look at the orientation of the block. So, I don't want anything right here in the crotch of this log, because I could actually carve this out a little bit and make this better for getting certain angles on my projects. So, I'm going to put one, one here, one here, and one back here. So, let's get the first one on.
Just so I remember where the hell I actually made the spot. So now that that's all drilled out there, we're gonna put our bit in. Sorry, our lugs. We're gonna put our lugs in. Start that off nice. Cool beans. I'm putting the socket on so I can drive my lug in. So now it's poking through. So now I'm just going to send it. Got it right there. I'm going to tighten it up once I get to the rest of the legs. I just want to get it on there and she should be stable. So now I'm just going through and doing the same thing I did for the first one. Putting in the spot, marking off where I want it. Cool beans. So, changing up my bit again. in place you could take a chisel and flatten those spots out It's all good in the hood, man. Change out our bit. Again. I should have just got two drills for this. Have another drill, but it's upstairs being used on other projects, so. Doing what we gotta do. tightened up and then we'll put the last one right there now for this last one since it's so bulbous right here I know I gave you a tutorial on all the things I'm gonna use to make this project I'm hoping that you guys have a chisel if not you could just hack away at it with your axe and just make a flat spot. But this spot's super pointy, but that's where I really want to put it. So I'm going to mark out the outline right here to here, and I'm going to chisel it out. Yeah, I just want it to sit a little flusher than that. Anything crazy, 
And you by no means have to be very good at chiseling. and final one. Tighten her up. <laughs> all right. All right, well, we got her all put together, so let's see how she looks. Oh, dude. That is sweet. And this is going to be great for carving. Add a couple of supports to it, if need be. Other than that, I mean, that's what else could you ask for? I already have the holes drilled in here, so I can put pegs in which makes things super, super nice for when you're carving larger product. And there you go. You could add your stuff right in between here as wedges and it'll secure your piece. Dope. guys that's it for NEPA Mountain Craft for today we built our chopping block uh, if you like the channel please like subscribe follow ring that notification bell any questions comments or concerns please message me and as always keep crafting take it easy guys